everybody, so I thought I'd film a baby favorites video. Just the things that Cassidy is currently loving. She is almost five months old. Probably by the time this will be uploaded, she will be five months old. And I've just gathered some of the products here beside me that we've been reaching for the most and that she's been the most interested in. So I thought I would share with you guys. Now my first favorite is this car seat mirror. I'll show you it closer in a second here. Uh, a couple of you actually asked about it in my latest day in the life video. But this car seat mirror was sent to me for review. I did not have to put it in a video. I didn't have to review it, but I actually really, really like it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's by Sandy Blue and it's the True Reflect Baby Car Mirror. This is just the packaging it came in. That's the company there. You buy it off Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. That's what it's called there. And then I'll just, before I talk about it, I'll quickly show you a clip of what it looks like in my van. I like about this mirror is that it is smaller than the mirrors that I had prior to like it doesn't take up very much room so my daughter who's behind can see the baby fine um, there's no like interference between that so I like that it's smaller but it get at the same time it magnifies and it's so clear that when I'm driving or when I'm the passenger I can see her really really well in the mirror the other thing that made me really like it is that it secures onto the headrest really well and then it it has a pivot on it so it's not like, for example, um, if we're, I don't know, carrying something to the dump or picking up a big piece of furniture off Craigslist or going camping or something and we need to take down car seats, when, this has happened quite often since we've had our kid, but when we put them back up, the mirror is always shifting in position or even just it shifts, I don't know, from the bumps in the road, the previous mirrors that we've been using. This one secures to the headrest, so there's no moving. I don't get in the past or the driver's seat, look up, and then notice that it's not angled properly at her. So I really like that about it. I'll just mention some quick things, you know, some quick things it says about it. It's adjustable pivot, tightening wheel, glass-free and shatterproof mirror, lightweight design, and it's a convex convex mirror for expanded view of backseat at all times. So I know it, it seems silly, it's a backseat car mirror, but I've tried out maybe three in our day and this is by far my favorite. All right, moving on. I just grabbed a bunch of things. It's in no particular order. This is a white noise machine. It's called the Sleep Easy. I bought a couple of these off Amazon. They weren't too expensive. I forget what they were. I'll try and find a link and leave it down below. But um, I bought these for travel because my kids sleep better with white noise. We usually have fans going in their room. Cassidy has an air conditioner in her room. There's always just a lot of background noise. When we were traveling places, I was like, how are we gonna get that? I don't really wanna pack a fan along. Um, and these are just small and portable. And they, there's, you can open it and it can go louder or softer. It's adjustable that way, but it, it produces quite a bit of noise um, for the price anyways. And it just plays all night long and it plugs in. So. That is definitely be a favorite. I'll probably use those, the, these in the winter month as well when I don't necessarily want a fan going, but I want that same noise. So that's a favorite. My favorite cloth diaper at the moment is by Kisseloves. And this is the newborn one, although it fits her really, really well. It's an all-in-one. It's pink, obviously. It looks like this. And it just fits her, fits her the best. It's been fitting her for the past three months I want to say and a lot of the other newborn ones that we've been using little joys and things like that don't really fit anymore but this one still fits really really well it I don't know it catches the poop good we haven't really had any blowouts with it and it's still trim at the same time so I wish I had more of these it's the only one I have but it's definitely my favorite the next thing was a recommendation from Mary Ann. If you don't watch her channel I'll link her down below as well she also had her son around the same time as I had Casty and I was watching her Day in Life video and she mentioned this Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. Never heard of it before. That's what it looks like there. Basically, it's meant to be a product used between when your baby is swaddled and when you're unswaddling them or moving them to a crib. In our case, um, Cassidy was never swaddled, but she slept in the rock and play sleeper for a long time. And then when I moved her to a crib, it was just so much bigger and freer and her arms, you know, how babies have that reflex where their arms are going everywhere. The premise behind this is that it's a little bit weighted. I don't actually feel weights in it. I was wondering about that. It just feels like thicker material. This is the cotton one. They have a heavier one for winter. This is the more breathable one. Um, and it definitely works. I mean, first night went 
pretty darn smoothly. She just, we just put her in here. Depending on how hot it is, you can put them in nothing or a onesie or a sleeper. The feet are open. And uh, I mean, she can still bring her hands to her mouth, so she's not completely strapped down. She can definitely move her limbs, but it prevents her a little bit from smacking herself in the face. Like it, it delays it. So I do like that. The next thing are bibs. My goodness, this is a, the drooliest baby by far we've ever had. And my favorite bibs are by Aiden and Anae. They're the, the muslin cotton ones. They are just so absorbent, so fabulous. They're very, very lightweight. My daughter really likes this material anyway, so she'll pull up to her mouth and suck on it when she's wearing it. But these are by far the most absorbent. Love these, they're a bit pricier, but worth it in my opinion, along with the Aiden and Nene. These blankets, I really wish I had known about these when I had Riley, because she was also a summer baby. She was born May 25th, so she was tiny in the summer months, and this would have been awesome for swaddling, um, but like I said, Cassidy's not swaddled. We just carry these everywhere. She's in her car seat, she'll hold on to it, she likes to suck on it. If we're like rocking her to sleep, we'll put it under her head, between her arm and her head, so it doesn't get all sweaty. Um, just so many reasons. They're super, super big. I wish I had gotten girly prints, but I didn't know what her gender was, so. These ones are on sale, baby steals, but these these have been a lifesaver. Okay, a couple of her favorite toys. I think I've mentioned this in a video before. This ball here, it's just great for little hands because they can grab onto it, although she's not a huge fan when she gets it to her face because there's nothing to really stick in her mouth, so it ends up pissing her off. So this one's a love-hate in our world. We have so many of those teethers and like rings and things like that and I don't know what it is but she doesn't like the hard toys yet or even the the squishy like water filled ones. She's not into that yet. She still really likes soft soft toys. This one is probably one of her favorites. I'm not sure why. I think this came in one of those pregnancy subscription boxes. I'm wondering if it has the brand on it. Dandelion. Dandelion and it's crinkly and it's got tags and I don't know why but this one really keeps her happy. She really likes the lose it because there's lots of things to grab onto and it can sit flat on her belly so it doesn't go away from her. If she's in the car seat it stays on her pretty good. And then we have a couple of these type things that you can link around her car seat or whatever she's playing on. And these are good because they're soft and yet they're always around. They don't fall off her so she loves that. What else do I have here? This is the Honest Shampoo and Body Wash. I talked about this in my Honest haul. This is by far our favorite. I use it for all my kids. We go through it quite frequently. If you're not familiar with Honest Company, I'll leave the link down below. I believe you get a free bundle or a free percent off. I always forget when I film these videos, but I'll leave it down below if you haven't checked out Honest Company. It's natural and it smells good and it cleans really well. And then two last products, reaching. This is the CJ Butter Spritz. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I love this stuff. Um, it's basically an all natural spray. Instead of using like um, a baby cream, it's the same kind of idea, but it's natural and it's in a spray so you don't end up touching anything, getting your hands all yucky. So love this and there's lots of scents. It smells good. The last thing is my ring sling. I don't know what I would do without my ring sling. This one is my favorite. It's pretty, of course, but it's a nice woven material and it's just very soft. This one I got, where did I get this? I got this off Etsy. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. It's, um, the material itself is Little Frog, I believe, but then a different, it was like a wrap and then a different Etsy seller converted it into a ring sling and I wear this daily. So yes, yep, that's it. Those are all my favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.